Hi, so in this video we are going to solve two problems based on chord of a circle and its properties. So as you can see I have noted down two problems. First one is in a circle of radius 17 cm, a chord of length 30 cm is drawn. Find the distance of the chord from the center. So suppose this is the center O and this is the chord AB and we are given the length of the chord that means this distance is 30 centimeters and the radius of the circle is 17 centimeters. That means if I draw line AO this length is 17 centimeter. Then we have to find the distance between the chord and the center. So the shortest distance between any line and a point is always the length of the perpendicular. So let this be the perpendicular and let me call this point as point P. So we have already learned that the perpendicular drawn from the center to a chord actually bisects the chord or divides it into two equal parts. So if AB is equal to 30 centimeters then AP will be equal to 30 by 2 that is 15 centimeters and we know triangle OAP is a right angle triangle where angle OPA is 90 degrees and we have to find the length OP. So since it is a right angle triangle we can use the Pythagoras theorem over here OA square will be equal to OP square plus AP square or we can say OP square will be equal to OA square minus AP square. So we know a square minus B square is equal to A minus B into A plus B. This we have learnt in algebra. So this can be written as OA minus AP multiplied by OA plus AP. And we know OA is 17 and AP is 15. So if I substitute the values over here, it will look something like this. 17 minus 15 is 2 multiplied by 17 plus 15 is 32 and 32 multiplied by 2 is 64. So OP square is 64 or we can say OP is equal to square root of 64 that is 8 centimeters. So we have found that OP is equal to 8 centimeters. And now let's solve the second problem. So the problem statement is in the given figure O is the center of the circle with radius equal to 10 centimeters. PQ is a chord such that OM is a perpendicular on PQ. OM is equal to 6 centimeters. Find PQ. So if I draw OQ this will be the radius of the circle and the length of this will be 10 centimeters and we know QM is equal to 1 by 2 PQ because if I draw a perpendicular from the center of a circle on any chord that actually bisects the chord. So M, the foot of the perpendicular OM actually bisects chord PQ or we can say PM is equal to MQ. So again we have OMQ as a right angle triangle. So I can write MQ whole square is equal to OQ whole square minus OM whole square and if you substitute the values it will become 10 square minus 6 square or you can write it as 10 minus 6 multiplied by 10 plus 6 using this identity. So this will become 4 multiplied by 16. MQ square is 4 multiplied by 16 or MQ can be written as if I take the square root, the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 16 is 4. So MQ is equal to 8 centimeters. And if MQ is 8 centimeters, PQ will be equal to 2 multiplied by 8, that is 16 centimeters. So the value of PQ is 16 centimeters. So in the next video, I'm going to take slightly difficult problem based on the same principles. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.